So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have the gas shut off and the power turned off. So you want to take these two screws out on the cover plate for the burners. I was saying this is a really common problem you find you'll turn these on and they'll just spark and spark and they won't light and it's usually a plugged orifice or an ignition problem so I'm going to show you how to swap one out it's a quick fix once you get these two screws out this panel pulls right off and then you've got your pilot tube which connects to one burner so if you wiggle them, it should wiggle the tube and you can figure out which which tube is connected to the pilot tube and you only need to take that one out. Just a matter of removing one Phillips screw and you just slide it forward and it pops out of place. And then you're going to want to take your pilot tube out of your gas valve. And don't be afraid to bend the aluminum tube, it is quite flexible, it won't break. So you just pull that forward. And there is a flame guard, and you just remove two screws, and it should just drop down. Sorry about the camera. I'm trying to work with one hand and hold the camera in the other hand. It's a little shaky. Now once you get that flame guard plate dropped down, your burner will come right out and it has the ignition connected to it. There you go, comes right out. You want to be gentle, you don't want to pull any wires out, especially your ground wire there. So you see that's what we're going to change, that whole ignition. So what you're going to want to do is remove the one screw which holds everything in place. Then once you get that screw out, you're just going to put the ground wire aside. Don't forget to put it back on when you're done. Now you got to remove your pilot tube from the old ignition because we're going to reuse this aluminum pilot tube. And inside there is a little orifice. So when you're putting the new one in, you got to make sure you don't lose that little orifice, which sits right inside of this, right in there. Now for the spark wire, you just follow it back from your ignition that you just unscrewed all the way up to your relay spark plug. And just unhook the harness so you can pop it right out. And you're going to put the new one right back where you pulled that one out from. Let's get the harness off. Feed the old spark wire through. It should come right down. There. 
you just removed your old spark ignition. Now here's the new one. You really want to make sure that you got a propane one, liquid propane, if it's a liquid propane unit, or natural gas, if it's a natural gas unit. And it's just a different sized orifice. But it's, it's really important that you get that right. And it's just a matter of putting the old one in. Just like you took the other one out. I like to just bend it a bit because the screw doesn't really fit properly. So if you just pull on it once you got it started, you can bend it away so the screw can go in deeper. Now don't forget, once you've got all this together, you put your pilot tube back in, the old one. Don't forget to put your ground wire onto that screw. A lot of people forget. And you want to make sure this connection's tight. A lot of people don't tighten it enough and a flame will come out of there and it'll melt all your wires. So now we're just connecting the ground wire. And we've got that all connected. Now we're going to get the burner back in. There's a little tiny hole in there. Now you got to get the tip into that hole and then just pushes right back in. Can you see it? A little notch in the middle. Just got to get the tip of it in there. Doing my best to try and get the camera to show it just right in. Oh. Okay. Now once you get that in, you're going to just pop this back in. Get it lined up with the screw hole. Put your screw back in. And it's just a matter of putting it back together the way you took it apart now. Always test your, your gas connections. Soap test, gas leak test. If you guys have any questions, send me a message. If there's any other problems, you need a how-to video, let me know. I'll try and make one. We're almost done. So you just want to run this back up where you pulled the old spark wire from, feed it through, plug it into where it says spark on the relay. There you go, all done. Double check everything, fire it up. Thanks for watching.